Let's have a look at the last part of this question now. So suppose that we're having now a Stuckelberg competition and we have the marginal cost of the leader and the follower in the game equals to 2. So say marginal cost, how much, how much will each firm produce in equilibrium? Now let's recall that the price function was still 8 minus the quantity and before solving it let's just understand a bit the intuition of Stuckelberg and we'll see how that contrasts with Cournot. So when it comes to a Stuckelberg game, when it comes to Stuckelberg, what we're having right now, it's also a game theory but that's dynamic and the reason it's dynamic I'm going to explain that in a second. We have a dynamic dynamic game theory, but recall from Cournot that was a static game theory. And the difference is because now the leader, the first mover on the market, will take into account the fact that there's going to be another player after him producing a certain supply. And since there's going to be a certain additional quantity of the market, that's going to affect the price because the overall quantity in the market is going to determine how much uh, is going to sell for so the price at which, at which is gonna sell because it takes that into account the first the first player the leader in the market is gonna maximize his profit by taking into account what the follower does so it will take into account the quantity of the follower meaning that first we must know what the quantity of the follower will be such that we can calculate the profit of the leader or what the leader is going to do let's see how that works out so we're going to we're going to maximize the profit of the follower. That's going to be our first step. The profit of the follower is going to be the total revenue of the follower minus the total cost of the follower. Now what is the total revenue of the follower? Well, that's going to be the price times the quantity that the follower sells minus the total cost of the follower. Well, that's just 2 euros for every quantity that he sells. So 2 times quantity of the follower. We have no fixed cost here, so we don't incur any fixed costs. Now, the price, what's going to be the price? Since the quantity is the quantity total on the market, and now the quantity is composed of quantity of the leader plus the quantity of the follower, we can expand this as 8 minus QL minus QF. So the price function will be the following. We will have 8 minus QL minus QF multiplied with the quantity of the follower minus two times the quantity of the follower. Now, uh, if we open the brackets over here, it's going to be pretty much the same equation like we had before, but let's just do it anyway. So we will have the profit of the follower equals to eight times quantity of the follower minus the quantity of the leader times the quantity of the follower, and then minus the quantity of the follower times the quantity of the follower, which is QF squared, minus two times QF, two times QF. Now if we work this out, we'll have 8QF minus 2QF equals to 6QF minus QL times QF, QL times QF, and then minus QF square, QF square. Now we can see again the same story is the profit of the follower, which is a quadratic, a quadratic equation depending on the quantity of the uh, follower. So we want to maximize this by taking the derivative and make it equal to zero. The profit of the follower derivative with respect to the quantity of the follower must be equal to zero. So we're going to differentiate this function with respect to quantity of the follower. 6QF with respect to QF derivative, that's 6, minus QL times QF derivative with respect to QF, that's just QL, minus Q squared uh, of the follower derivative with respect to QF, that's 2. QF equals to zero. Now we want to have just the quantity of the follower to know how much he's going to produce in equilibrium. So the quantity of the follower, we take it to the other side. So we'll have six minus QL equals to two times QF. And if we divide both sides by two, we will have six minus QL divided by two equals to the quantity of the follower in equilibrium, which is going to be equal to, which is going to be equal to six divided by two is three minus a half quantity of the leader. So what do, we, what, what do we see here? We can see that for every additional quantity that the leader will put in the market, the follower will, will reduce its quantity by a half. So the slope shows the effect of additional production of the leader on the market and how that is affecting the quantity of the follower. Because recall, there is a leader. The leader means the first mover. The first mover has the capacity to get a bigger market share. And since he get, gets a bigger market share, has more quantity supplied, serves more customers, the follower, the second mover, takes this into account. He knows that he'll have to reduce his own quantity because there's not gonna be that much room for him on the market. And that's what this function is 
showing us the quantity of the follower. Now, with this in mind, we will calculate the quantity of the leader because he has to take this into account to compute his own maximizing quantity and we'll do so in the next video.